Okay, now that there's an extremely important part of this whole thing that's been missing. There's a key here. And the key here is Lily Rose. Lily Rose Depp. Johnny Depp's daughter. She was not included in the trial. She did not testify. She gave a very generic, broad, vague statement about her support for her dad and how she loved him as a father and how uh, she said something like, um, everybody makes mistakes, right? And we need to keep that in mind. Everybody makes mistakes, but he's been a great father to her and she loves him, you know, regardless. That was the basic gist of her online statement. We have never actually seen anything come from her mouth. She hasn't been in front of us on a camera uh, swearing um, or an oath of truth. And we haven't actually seen her lips moving about this. We haven't, ha haven't actually seen her talking about this. And I've been so curious, why wasn't she included in the trial? Because she could probably wrap this trial up, help, she could have helped wrap up this trial within, I don't know, five days, easily. If Johnny is in the clear, if Johnny is in, is at, if, as, if he is as in the clear as he claims, he should have had no compunction, no hesitation about having her on. Here's the thing. Johnny Depp's probably going to say something like, or has probably already said something like, he doesn't want to include his children in the trial because he doesn't want to drag them into this. Like, you know, they should be separate from it. They're, they're, not, they're not in this. Sort of almost claiming it like a privacy invasion thing. However, Johnny, ever since the get-go, his daughter and his son have been in social media. They've been in the, in social, there's been, Johnny Depp hasn't made any efforts to screen them or shield them from paparazzi. He hasn't made any agreements to sort of blur out photos of the kids. We've always seen them. We know what they look like. And there's, well, I don't know about the son, but certainly the daughter, Lily Rose, she's on social media quite a lot. There's no end of gorgeous photos of her. And, you know, she certainly seems to be okay with the camera. So this whole thing, we're like, no, I don't want to drag them in. It's their privacy. I don't think it's that. If your kids knew something, and if they stood up on the, on the stand and were able to clear you within five minutes, if you were in the clear, why wouldn't you have them up? It would save so much time and harrowing worry and expense, I imagine, too. Isn't that weird? I, I think it's really weird that, that Lily Rose has not been included. And I'm going to tell you more why. I read, I'm going to read from some notes that I made and they're on the screen. So that's why I'm probably looking like I'm reading it because I am. Okay. So she's a, devo a devoted daughter apparently. And although she did not attend their wedding, Amber Heard has actually stated that they had a functional relationship. Amber Heard said that she actually felt quite protective over Lily Rose, especially regarding two instances. One, when Depp introduced Lily Rose to marijuana when she was about 13 or something. It was like a preemptive protective strategy to protect her out there when random people offer her marijuana. And the second one was when Lily Rose wanted to have a boyfriend to stay over, I think he was 18 years old, and Amber Heard said that both times she didn't agree with Johnny about this, his take on uh, parenting in these instances. And uh, yeah, Johnny's stance of Amber Heard and any relationship with his kids is that it was non-existent. If you go online and you will find that Johnny says uh, any reference to Amber Heard's relationship with his kids, there's a solid statement that, say, that he says it was non-existent. 
Well, apparently there was, there was something. He is the only one who's saying that she didn't have a functional relationship with him. The son hasn't said anything. We haven't seen him say anything. He hasn't put any foot. He hasn't put forth any statements. Lily Rose hasn't said anything. She said she supports her father, but she definitely doesn't say she's not attacking Amber. She's supporting her father because she loves him, but she's not pointing fingers at Amber. She hasn't said anything that incriminates Amber. She hasn't said anything that that criticizes Amber. She hasn't said anything negative directly about Amber, basically. And this to me is really interesting. Okay, here I am going for gold here with the the sensation mags here. <laughs> Nikki Swift. Okay, I'm not sure if all of you have read this, but okay. Uh, I was looking for why any connection between Lily Rose and Amber Heard. Okay, so let's look at this one. Let's just see what they've got to say. Johnny revealed that during his intimate wedding with Heard in February 2015, Lily Rose was not in attendance. Now, now hold up. This is where I'm getting confused now. There's, they're using this as proof that Amber Heard and Lily Rose have a bad relationship. But this is not proof. All it means is that Lily Rose was not at the wedding. And maybe this might have more to do with the fact that Lily Rose is just being loyal to her mum. Vanessa Paradis, oh, look at this woman. She's devoted to this guy. So Deb began to spark dating rumors with Amber Heard in 2011 after the pair met on the 2009 film Rum Diaries. Now this was while, my cat's talking, this was actually while he was still with Vanessa Paradis because he only separated from Vanessa in 2012. These guys met on Rum Diaries and had sparks flying there in 2011. They couldn't control it, obviously. You can't control sparks flying, but, you know, here it is. He, this is the reason why he split up from Vanessa Paradis. So this child might just be... She's in the process of being loyal to her mum. I mean, it's well documented that she loves her mum and she's on her mum's side. Do you blame her? Of course not. So this might be more of a political, like a family politics kind of move. She doesn't want to make her mum feel bad, so she's staying out of it. This is not like a direct statement that she hates Amber. This is just like her being loyal to her mum, right? I think I can understand that. <clears throat> Apparently it was because the two didn't have a, a great relationship. You know, if this statement was said in court, it would be called out as hearsay, wouldn't it? Jeepers, we've heard old Camille, Camille Vasquez say that enough. Man. <clears throat> My daughter Lily Rose did not come to the wedding. She and Miss Heard were not on particularly great terms for several reasons. So Johnny's saying this again. There's lots of words from Johnny, but we don't actually have outright words from Lily Rose's mouth. We do not see Lily Rose's lips moving about anything concerning this. She has not once said anything particular against Amber. We'll continue. And in fact, uh, Amber sounds pretty warm about the idea that she's now got step, she's a stepmom to a girl and a boy, an honor a great, most surprising gift. You, okay, let's just say that maybe she's just sucking this out of her thumb. Maybe she doesn't really mean it. But her sentiments are warm. That's a good place to start. It's hard to say who's telling the truth. Yes, exactly. It is hard to say who's telling the truth. It's basically, it's coming down to a he said, she said um, dynamic. When Heard first accused Johnny of abuse, Lily Rose did not hesitate to defend her father. Now listen here, I don't know if this is exact defense. My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. He's been nothing but a wonderful father to my little brother and I, and everyone knows him who would say the same. She says nothing about what kind of husband he might be to his new wife. Maybe he's been perfectly lovely to his kids. But she's being very general here. She's she's being very non-specific. Like, Dad, Dad's great. Dad's great. He's a wonderful father. 
She hasn't said anything in particular about Amber. Yeah, here we go. This is what I was saying. Lily Rose is known to have her mom's back. Yes, of course she does. She's her mom's daughter. She has seen her mom go through stuff. Why would she go against her and like, let, 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 let's go to the, the, the wedding with the new wife? No, man, of course not. It's political. It's family politics. You wouldn't do it either. Of course. Sure. It's family politics. It's not down to Amber, Amber being a, 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 a biatch to her. Okay, here we are on another, it's called Sports Skeeter, pop culture. I'm pretty sure this is very legitimate, but you know what? I can find very, very few um, articles that actually detail anything from Lily Rose about Amber. Anything from her, like with specifically actually mentioning Amber. I've been looking and I can't find it. Anyway, I found this. Does Lily Rose Depp like Amber Heard? All right, so let's let's explore this. The Aquaman star recalled her 2013 trip to Depp's private island in the Bahamas with a Pirates of the Caribbean star and his two children. Heard claimed that Depp had borderline assaulted her for embarrassing him in front of his children. I think this event was Amber referring to him as a drunk. This was Amber referring to him as a drunk in front of his kids. And he got really annoyed about this. He also threatened to kill the actress on the trip. What I've noticed with people who are, who feel internally guilty about something they're doing, maybe, let's just say in this case, it's, it's a drug addiction problem and it's an alcohol addiction problem. They know they have this problem. They've probably fought against it before. Maybe they've lost. Maybe they keep going back to it. But if you mention it, if you start to poke holes in what they're doing, they get extremely defensive and extremely angry. Extremely defensive. Extremely angry. Even though what you're pointing out is actually accurate and very factual and there's nothing untrue about it. So her, Amber, potentially calling him a drunk in front of his kids. She's not lying. The fact is that he just doesn't want his kids to hear that. He's trying to protect his kids from the fact that he might have put some problems. Uh, this is from Amber on her relationship with Deb's children. I found them to be these beautiful, wildly intelligent weirdos in the best way. I was falling in love with them. They were in my life at that time, a short amount of time. So I don't think they were around each other much. This might also have something to do with their mom, Vanessa Paradis. They have to be loyal to their real mom. They can't be like showing like they're loving the new wife and uh, the new potential stepmother. <laughs> you know, like I'm surprised people are not considering this aspect aspect. They're not, they're not talking about it. Furthermore, Heard spoke about Depp's anger towards his daughter, Lily Rose Depp, which made the young actress cry at the time. She claimed to have comforted Lily Rose Depp after the incident. Yeah, I heard about this. Like, Amber was talking about this in the trial, and she said that Johnny Depp was having an episode, and he got angry at Lily Rose. And she started crying, and because of this, Johnny transferred his anger to Amber, because now she's making him look really bad. This dude doesn't like it when people don't like what he's doing. He is extremely fragile, extremely sensitive, and he seems very, very, very affected and aware and gets extremely emotional about other people's opinions of what he's doing. And if you take that down to his kids, he's going to go even more so. He's going to become even more angry about it. Okay, so let's go down here. According to Heard's testimony, she accompanied Depp and his children on a trip to his private island in the Bahamas in 2013 where he had a yacht. 
Amber Heard insinuated that Depp was drinking heavily at the time. As per Heard, upon a confrontation with Rose, Lily Rose Depp about the drinking, Depp shouted angrily at his daughter. So obviously, Amber said something about Depp drinking, and then Lily Rose picked up on this and said something too, and that's when Johnny Depp got extremely angry and was extremely defensive and shouted angrily at her. Obviously, she's not used to this. Amber added, heard added, Lily Rose was crying. It became like a panic attack with rapid breathing, crying, and lots of questions. I was holding her and comforting her, and within a few seconds, I realized that he had shifted his attention to me and seemed very angry. We don't know that this lady's lying, and you know what? No one has come forward saying that she's lying about this particular thing. Lily Rose could have. Lily Rose could have come forward and said, all of this is a lie. But nobody has said anything. So let's just say, oh, maybe there is some truth here. So if there is some truth here, this person that's comforting this girl, this 13-year-old or 14-year-old, I think Lily Rose was at the time, is this an entirely inhumane person? Is she an absolute troll from hell, the evil stepmother that everybody wants to think her as, or think of her as. I don't know, man. Take it easy. Read slowly. Her, I heard saying, on a fight with Lily Rose, Deb's daughter, a famous musician over the age of 18, stayed overnight at the house. I felt protective over Lily Rose. The introduction of weed with his daughter. She was just so young. So these are instances where Amber Heard actually doesn't agree with Johnny Depp's parenting. I'm not going to judge about his parenting. I mean, I'm a parent myself. I don't even know if I'm always making the best decisions. But these are two instances that she's mentioning where she disagreed. So, I mean, this is... Johnny said that the relationship with Amber Heard and his kids is non-existent. But if you read this article, there's clearly something there, even if it's very short. After Johnny Depp asked his daughter to leave, the actor allegedly snapped at Heard. According to Heard, Depp accused her of revealing his alcoholic binge to his daughter. Oh, so it's Amber Heard's job to keep secret his, his drinking problems. From his kids. I wonder if they had an agreement about this. They probably didn't. But he's getting all defensive about his drinking habits. I'm, I don't, I'm losing patience with people like this. Furthermore, Deb had allegedly insinuated that she had called him a drunk in front of his children. Look, in a, that, people are always saying, Johnny Depp is so honest. He's always so honest. He's always so so um, open about everything. No, he's not. He doesn't want to know his children to know the truth about him. And he gets angry at this woman who does tell them the truth. He's not all about the truth. He's, he's about hiding certain things. He's about showing things that he thinks is appropriate for his children and the world to see. And everybody else must try and help him hide the other things. What's up with that? Talking about a second incident, Amber Heard claimed that Depp had shoved her against the cabin wall of the boat by her neck and told that he would effing kill her. Following the heated confrontation, Heard took Lily Rose Depp to the island from where they left in a helicopter. You know what? If there is any truth in any of this, I think she did the right thing. Just leaving. Just... You... you, you. Dealing with that? Just just leave already. Oh my god. Just leave. It's not worth it. I was literally holding Lily Rose under my arm and she was crying as we were taking off. I felt bad about leaving even though that had just happened. No one is coming forward saying that this is false, that this didn't happen. I'll bet you there is an, uh, a helicopter pilot that you can find who will corroborate with this. I don't think this is lying. Johnny Depp's uh, not saying anything about this not happening. There are elements, I swear, that not everything that Amber Heard is saying is a lie. She has lied a lot, yes. She's manipulated a lot. She's probably abused him, yes. But there's 
not everything she's saying is a lie. And if he has been abusing her in any way or abusing anyone in any way, we shouldn't condone that just because he's a famous celebrity and everybody's got, what do you call it, um, everyone's starstruck about him pretty much. Yeah, and that's that. Like maybe the reason why those kids have not been included in the trial is because if they did take the stand and they were honest and objective, it would be revealed that from their perspective, sometimes Amber Heard wasn't that bad. And that seems to be an extremely bad thing for the Johnny Depp law team. And I think this is why those kids weren't included in the trial because there was worry that they would paint a more balanced picture of Amber Heard, being honest, you know. It's difficult for kids to fabricate too much. So yeah, so that's probably why the law team left them out very conveniently, because it was imperative to them that they paint a very dastardly, evil witch stepmother picture of Amber Heard. Just keep remembering though, we have never heard an actual statement from Lily Rose saying that she was or from the Sun in this matter. Amber Heard has also accused Johnny Depp of stifling evidence against him. And I this is the part that I think there, there's something here because where is Lily Rose in all of this? Where are Johnny Johnny Depp's kids? Like surely they would be they, they could end this trial. They could have ended this trial within five minutes. If he was absolutely in the clear. If he was in the clear, his kids could have ended this in five minutes. But, but they weren't there. They didn't testify. So what was, what was his team so worried about that they would say, that they would, how they would change this thing? And I think it's down here. In her statement released on May 6, 2022, Heard asserted that Depp's legal team appears to be focusing on restricting evidence. They're trying to keep it as tight as possible, try and keep as many people out of it as possible who could change or swing this thing another way. That could only serve to prove her claims. As Heard's team wrote of Depp and his cohorts, that team is so panicked they are fighting tooth and nail to prevent compelling evidence and photos from being introduced. The statement concludes, apparently they feel they must double down on their demonstrably, <laughs> demonstrably losing two-part strategy, distract the jury and demonize the victim. You must admit this has certainly happened. So anyway, if this so-called relationship with the kids was really non-existent, how would Amber know that much and he even have any input or opinions about how Johnny Depp was parenting his kids? And so I'm, I'm thinking, you know, like maybe this is just another part that is actually not a lie from Amber. Maybe this particular part about the, the, the episode in the, on the island in the Bahamas, this is a part that's true. Maybe it is. And if it is true, what does it say about Amber? Is she really that cruel and inhumane? Maybe she might see a little of herself in Lily Rose. And she feels protective of Lily Rose because she remembers her childhood so well. High likelihood. Just saying, just a theory, just a theory. And what would this say about Johnny? If this came out, if this was true, true. And if we had Lily Rose's take on it and if Ro Lily Rose actually said, yeah, this is true, That's, it, it is what happened. How would it make Johnny Depp look? And then where would that have taken the whole trial afterwards? Retrospect, man. Yeah.